All right, bro, so I'm just doing this video on this comment right here. It ain't nothing too major. It's just something I want to talk about. And really out of boredom, really. It's a, a video out of boredom. I got a lot of videos to do, man, but look, man. I just had a dream, man. This shit's so wild, bro. I see, like, my videos doing a thousand plus. Every time I talk about certain subjects, they end up doing a thousand or two thousand, three thousand. You know what I'm saying? The channel was growing like I said it would, but... Man, I've been getting these dreams, bro. Nigga, I had a dream about me being mad about all my failures in life. Like, they exaggerated them to the point to where, like, I was just going insane about this shit. So, I wake up in the morning, I forget about that dream. So, I spend a couple, like, I eat breakfast, and then I go chill in the backyard and just think. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking, like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with me? I'm not in the mindset. My head hurt. And then I think about it, I was like, yo, that dream, I thought about the dream, and it was like, yo, this shit really fucked with my head. This shit really started me off, like, with a bad mood of not wanting to do videos. So, you know, um, maybe it's that targeted individual shit, bro. I don't know what the fuck it is, but, man, that shit <laughs> weird as hell. But after I got over it, I, I understood that I had to keep doing videos because, nigga, ain't finna stop me over no bullshit like that. Y'all got me fucked up, exaggerating my failures like that. But anyways, let's get back on subject. So, the Mac of all, 010. I'm finna address two of his comments today, man. <laughs> you, he talk about you need to get your bride. You used to get your bride when she was like 12 or 13. Now you're going to hell for show, right? All right, so I'm not even finna read the rest. I will later, but all right, so check this out. When I was, um, my grandma, my great-grandma and great-grandpa. My great-grandpa got married to my great-grandma when she was 12 years old, and he was 22. Now, a lot of people, including me, when I first heard it, was like, yo, that's weird as fuck, you feel me? Like, what type of weirdo shit is that? But, back in them days, marriages were arranged, and I wouldn't say arranged, I'd say they agreed on it. The 12-year-old agreed, the 22-year-old agreed, and they didn't think nothing perverse of it because there was an understanding of marriage like when they when he saw this 12 year he thought marriage you know what i'm saying when these niggas on the block see 12 year olds they see they you know you know what they think you know what i'm saying these old head niggas, i mean not old head but these niggas you feel me all these dudes that when they see 12 year old, they think something they don't think about marriage so my great grandpa ended up marrying my great grandma when she was 12 years old and he was 22 had seven eight kids with her didn't she Work, she didn't have to work. You know what I'm saying? You can't say a lot of dudes ain't gonna, ain't gonna do shit like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's considered perverse. And the laws have changed. And the black community was so tight that a nigga wasn't going for no shit like that. You feel me? They weren't finna let you do nothing to their daughter that they don't agree with. They gonna, they gonna come kill you. Straight like that. You know, and now in the black community, niggas is doing all type of foul shit to these niggas' daughters and ain't nobody doing shit. So, you know, the, the black community was tightening it like that. Marriage was viewed at the highest, you know what I'm saying, spot it can. My grandma used to tell me about um, the girls in her school getting married at 15 and 16. You know what I'm saying, 14 years old. They was already married. That's just how deep it is. You don't see that shit nowadays. You look at it as weird. Like, ugh, you married at 14? Nigga, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? That's just how it is. That's, that's how... The government with feminization, you know what I'm saying, feminism and all of this. That's how they ruined it, you feel me? That's why it's not like that no more. So, addressing that comment, bro, I mean, you know what I'm saying, it's the laws have changed, bro. It's looked at as perverse because that's how they want you to look at it. Because these niggas ain't thinking of marriage, you know what I'm saying? These niggas ain't thinking of long-time loyalty. These niggas ain't thinking of shit like that. These niggas thinking some perverse shit. That's why they made it illegal. So you can't think perverse shit. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, and, and see, the Jews so damn exec, exec, ah, ex executive. They they make shit like this. I ain't even finna break it down. I mean, I, I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. They'll make something illegal and then make it legal. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's weird. Weird as fuck. But... Yeah, man, back on to this subject, too. He had brought up, um, on another page, he brought up some Egyptian stuff, bro. Check this out, man. Look, when it comes to Egypt, bro, I'm not finna be sitting. You talking about, um, 
me talking about how it's evil. Bro, do you not realize they worship dog heads and bird heads and shit? You know what I'm saying? you What's up with you, bro? Snake heads and shit. Worship incest. Incest. Isis was what? The sister and the wife? And the mother, I believe? Incest, man. Not worshiping no shit like that. It's paganism. And let me tell you this. In the Freemason branch, the first degree, what you worship, the beginning degrees, you start to worship God and, I mean, like, honor. You honor Jesus. You honor um, Mary. You know what I'm saying? You honor all of that. And as, as, as you go up, you start to honor Isis and, you know what I'm saying, um, Horus and Ra. You start to go up. That's who they start worshiping. You know why? Because they pagan. And at the top is Lucifer. The 33rd degree, really before that, the degrees before that, they already know what they into. But, you know, that's when they become in full accept acceptance of it at 33. Master Mason. So, yeah, bro, if you can, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problem with y'all thinking religion is fake. I might, you know what I'm saying, might think the same. I ain't got, I don't go to no church, bro. You won't see me at no church, man. And I was going to do this video exposing the church in the 501c3 scam, you feel me? When you put a dollar bill on preaching the word, then it becomes corrupt. You know what I'm saying? I, bro, if you go to a church with a 501c3, then it ain't real. You ain't supposed to be accepting. I mean, like, it's tax-free, you feel me? They make it tax-free on purpose so people can use it as a, money, as a way to get money. Why you think all these ex-pimps jump in the preaching game? You feel me? Because it's the same thing. They can see... Use their words for, for monetary gain. That's all it is. It's all a game, bro. When they put a dollar uh ta a dollar price on, on preaching the word. Come on now. 501c3 tax free. Everything. They don't want your money. They don't want to see where your money you get. Free taxes. So yeah, I got a damn cousin out here in Tennessee. This nigga Ryan Benz has got a big ass church down here in Memphis. This nigga, I mean, I'm you know, we all got some, but um just saying he ain't he a he just feel like he above everybody. <laughs> Scamming ass nigga, man. I don't fuck with that church shit. So with that being said, man, I'm finna edit this video. Um, the next video will probably be about that um black fraternity shit. So with that being said, man, I'm gone. Peace.